guys, I'm finally sorting out the bedroom. Well, in theory anyway, I've spent most of my morning looking at new beds because I've convinced myself that a new bed would change my life. I'm not sure about that actually in the case. I think probably I just need to sort out the bedroom that we have right now um, and not be spending all that money, although a new bed is definitely in my future. I want to change the rug that we've got in here because it's the black and white rug that I love from Ikea and um it just does not work something happened to this rug it is not straight we've had this rug before and i absolutely loved it the only reason we got rid of it was because it was full of dog hair it just wasn't right and i always intended to buy another one when i did it just got really crooked really quickly so it's not square even if you put it on a perfectly flat surface now it's just not square anymore um and i've really really tried to find other places for it i love it in this room but i can't stand the ripples in it any longer so it's going and i'm going to replace it with um, a smaller rug that I've got that's kind of fluffier. Whether or not it's gonna work here, I don't know, because it might just look crazy because it's too small, but we'll see. I'm also going to change the fairy lights that I've got around the bed right now, which I'll show you. They're kind of on the outside of the bed head and I want to put them behind so it's just a glow. I was gonna take them down, but they actually work kind of as like a night light, or like not a light, night light, like um, we don't have bedside tables. So at night time I put that on, I flip the switch, a light comes on behind the bed and um, that's kind of enough light to kind of do my skincare and all that stuff that I want to do before I actually switch off completely. Um, so I don't want to get rid of it completely, but I would rather the fairy lights not be there because I think they look a bit messy. I'm not sure, I love this thing that I've got above the bed. This is from the range, lots of people have asked about it. It is, um, it was really inexpensive, it was about, 10 pounds if that I think it might be less than that um but I don't know if because I've got so much stuff in this room um and there's always stuff on these bedside tables people have suggested baskets and I have baskets I'm thinking of maybe maybe testing the basket thing just so that from a distance they don't look as messy because they're always messy they don't have a lot of space to put things um because it is not a massive bedroom and we've taken up most of the bedroom with big wardrobes for storage uh, so our bedside table space is not a lot, but I don't know, I still I really want a new bed, guys. But that's a big thing, because right now we've got a divan and we've got a headboard, which is not taking up as much space. We'll lose about 10 centimetres, which doesn't sound like a lot. It's quite a lot in a small room. So that's, that's another reason I'm trying to kind of put it off as long as possible. Um, but it is the creakiest bed in the world. The creaky. Let me just give you an example. I mean, I don't do a lot of walking around in the bed, but I think you know what I'm saying. And even when I go and sit in bed right by my bedside, it's so freaking creaky. It drives me crazy. And this bed is actually older than Ella. She'll be 13 in September, because I got it when I was pregnant with her. The mattress is new, but the bed is just so old. So I, I do, I want a new bed. But as with everything, I'm trying to make other changes to put me off obsessing over buying something new.
So I've changed the um, rug underneath, which you wouldn't be able to see from this angle, but I have. Um, and you did see me do something crazy with the rug, which was kind of my crazy Mac MacGyvering mind thinking, maybe this will help with the, it doesn't help with the creaks. It doesn't help with the creaks. But it's somewhere to store that rug for a minute, isn't it? Hi, Miles. Yeah. Milo has just been to the park and fallen from a great height. Um, I was quite upset about it, right? Oh. You're quite upset about your little fall in the park. Oh. <sighs> and you want a hot chocolate. Apparently hot chocolate will make him feel better. And he's dressed like a knight right now. Used to. <laughs> what did you say? Used to. Used to be a knight. Now he's just wearing like chainmail armour. I think he looks like he's going to a certain kind of nightclub, personally. Something alternative, but whatevs. Um, so we're going to go make hot chocolates. Come let me love you now. Yeah, you're the one that I want. I want to stay here. I want to stay here with you. I want to, I want to, I want to stay here with you. Update. Number one, you may wonder why I look like this. There is a video to come on this. I am doing an exercise re regime and in theory there's going to be a before and after. Right now I'm very much in the before stages and I can't imagine there ever being an after but in theory there will be a video that will explain my sweaty mess of myself right now. Um, so I've ordered a new bed. Mm. Like the changes that I made were never going to quite fix the problem. One thing that I really do like that I did was the fairy lights. So now they glow. I will try to remember to show you them at the end of the day so that it's obviously all dark and you can see the glow. Um, it doesn't give as much light as before, but I do think that I have an idea about that too. Um, but I like that you can't see the fairy lights. So right now they are hammered into the back of the headboard with the new bed, which hopefully will come at the end of the week. You knew I was going to succumb to the new bed, right? Um, hopefully my plan is to hammer the fairy lights into the wall behind the bed and so there will be more fairy lights more concentrated and there will be more light that's that's the idea but stay tuned and we'll see but fingers crossed this bed should come in, in the next couple of days i am more excited than i'm letting on right now because i've just done this exercise thing and you just would quite like to curl up and die because i'm so tired um but before i forget i thought i would just give you this little update Everything you've just seen was completely pointless and a waste of time because I'm getting a new bed anyway. So the bed was ordered two or three days ago from Wayfair um, and it's arriving today. I'm so excited, like the most excited <laughs> about anything that I've bought for a while um, because it's just, I'm in it every single day. I'm in it for a good portion of my day. And I'm just, I feel like when I walk into this room, it's gonna make me, I mean, I'm, a, I'm so untidy. This is the least tidy room in the entire house. We don't have a lot of space in here. We gave Milo the second largest room in the house. Um, the, the other room is my parents' room because it's a whole thing. I'm also contending with like what feels like the largest cystic break I've ever had right now. And I've tried loads of stuff, but right now I'm gonna give it a go with Sudoquem. I don't know if this is gonna work because this is under the, oh, the bebe? It's under the skin. Whereas I know when people talk about pseudocum, it's like drying it out. Does that work when it's under the skin? No idea. But I thought I would explain why in the next few clips I've got a big white dot on my face. Um, my camera ran out of battery and I will be damned if I can find my spare <laughs> whilst I was fixing it. Um, so yeah, I mean, not that it was like super 
excellent, interesting, amazing, <laughs> but you know, I wanted to show you the actual putting up, up of the bed, and I did it all myself, so I was feeling quite pleased with myself, and you'll never know that I didn't have help. I mean, Milo did come and help by talking to me constantly towards the end when I was hammering in the slats, so you can kind of factor that in. But yes, the bed is up, it is amazing. Um, super comfortable, super sturdy, and I would highly recommend. I got it from Wayfair, I will link it below. This is not sponsored and I paid for it myself. Um, but I really am so happy with it. It is a great looking bed. And it really wasn't that difficult to put together. I mean, you know, I like to complain, but it, was, it wasn't that difficult to put together. Um, so here we go. We finally have a new bed. I'm very, very excited about it. And this concludes the bed vlog. The bed vlog, that's what I'm going to call it. And I also like that throughout this entire video, which I didn't realise until halfway through, we haven't left this room. The entire video has been in this one room um, on several days. It's just an absolute thrill for you. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed it and my journey to a new bed. I even lit candles, guys. I lit candles. I actually lit these candles because I thought I was going to be filming with the bed in the background because, you know, now I've got a nice bed. I thought I'd put it in the background of my videos. doesn't really work like that because the light's way over on that side so I'm filming over here and it's dark and it's light it just didn't work for me um but in theory in theory it's a nice background isn't it could have made my bed could have made the cushions look less rumpled and taken the clothes off the bed but I didn't because real life so I hope you've enjoyed this <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions of where we could find um very very compact bedside tables I love the ones that we've got in theory because they do the job and I actually prefer them now. Look at the mess of mine. Let's you didn't see that, that never happened. Let me go, let's take you over here where it's neater because it's Lee's side of the bed. So yeah, I really like these because they are fit for purpose and they are very, very narrow, but offer quite a lot of storage still. And now, because the headboard is so deep, they actually kind of, they fit. Now I'm saying that, maybe I don't need new ones, but I just don't think that they look very nice. They are bathroom cabinets effectively. I think they were from the range way back when. But if you guys can suggest anything, people suggested shelves, but really the situation that we've got is, like mine is way, way, way up against the wall. And so this is the only space that we've got down here. And um, when I open the door, the reason that I had to move some stuff around was this was drawers in here. And so we had to be able to open this door 100%. So at one point the whole bed was against the wall because, oh, it was like a whole situation. This room is tiny, um, but yeah. Any any storage solutions would be great. Also, I've put this desk here. This is like a, a fold-up desk, so you don't have to have it up all the time, so I can have it up when I'm working or when I'm filming. And then I've got somewhere that I can put it away. I can actually put it under the bed. Um, but I am looking for maybe like a console or something that would fit there, that can be there all the time, but that you could also work at. Answers on a postcard, that'd be great. Thanks for coming along with me on this, uh, on this week-long journey of, I'm not gonna buy a bed. And then I made a bed, bought a bed, got rid of the other bed. That was a nightmare. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.